Hey there, this is Witty and I'm going to be showing you the Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne build order for Night Elf. Now this build order is rather open-ended, however it is aimed towards going for bears and dryads with two Ancients of Laws. However there are options to divert from this strategy onto other strategies, such as expanding or moving onto talons or even shims. So really, the world is your oyster. So in order to practice this, which you will need to practice this, believe me, you'll want to go into single player, get up Echo's Isles, and then select Night Elf, make sure you're the color green because that's very important, and your enemy, which is a computer or closed, it doesn't really matter because you're not going to be interfering with them really with this strategy, or at least this build that you're practicing, and make sure they're easy so they don't interfere with you either, and then start the game. Now straight away you're going to want to put all five wisps onto the mine, but you want to reserve two of them to build an altar and a moon well. So bring them down there, the altar can go one gap underneath the tree of life and the moon well can go one gap away from the trees and next to the altar, that way you're keeping your base somewhat closed in. Now your very first wisp that's going to come out, your 6 out of 10, is going to go onto wood, then your 7 out of 10 wisp, which is your next one, is going to go onto the gold mine. You're going to take your wisp from your altar and put it onto the trees. So let's make sure this wisp goes into gold mine. Yes, he does. And this wisp over here, you're going to hotkey his number four, for example, and then make him scout for the enemy just to see what it's doing. Now, the very next wisp that comes out is going to go into an Ancient of War. And I'm going to build that Ancient of War here. Hotkey number nine for Tree of Life. Hotkey number eight for Altar of Elders. That's for me. Now, eight out of ten, once you've built your Ancient of War, your next wisp is going to go on to gold mine. And then your next wisp after that, it's going to go straight onto wood. And you're going to continue putting wisps onto wood for a while. So Demon Hunter, as soon as your Altar of Elders is finished, make sure you hotkey your Ancient of War. My hotkey is number seven for that. And be ready to start creeping as soon as your Archers and Demon Hunter come out. Now you're going to want to build a Moon Well basically now. So let's get going with that. As soon as you get your five extra wood. Done. Moon Well. And now keep building wisps and putting them onto the wood. As soon as you can build an archer you're going to build that basically. Now we can see our enemy is this so you just have a little look around, manually do it or let your um, shift clicks do the work really. Now the Ancient of War is almost finished. Get ready to press A for archer. Now that that's done you're going to take one of your wisps, preferably one that's just got five wood, and build an Ancient of wonder which is your shop and you're always going to need that you don't need to build any more wisps for the moment but you will be able to build wisps very shortly you're going to want another archer coming out that archer all archers are going to rally onto your demon hunter basically to help him creep and start creeping away now your moon well should be finished in a moment and you can start to build wisps again which is what you want to do so there you go so you build one wisp once that moon well finishes pick up an item as soon as it's done get another archer coming out and then one more wisp. That's all set up, good to go. You've got two archers out at the moment. You're on 24 food, including this wisp that's currently building. Once that wisp is finished, you're going to move on to a tech and you want to keep on creeping. So you're going to save your resources. You're going to tech up, basically. So what's going to happen is your demon hunter is going to move and get his health back from the moon wells that are available currently at the moment. Now you can pull the creeps back if you want to, to minimise the amount of damage you take, but I'm not going to cover that at the moment whilst I'm trying to cover this build order. That can be done in a separate video if need be. Now we're getting the tech going, so at this point you just continue creeping, and then really what happens is, is you're going to build another archer, build two more archers basically at this point, just so you have enough of an army to counterattack anything that comes after you. And then once you've got two archers, so you're going to be at 28 food soon, you're going to build a moon well just for more health and mana basically and then in fact I can build the moon well now I believe no archer first then moon well so 28 food moon well in a moment creep the next spot if you can do it depends on the map always pick up items moon well is going down now at 28 out of 30 food and then a hunter's hall is going to follow after that remember you don't want to get too weak from creeps if you can help it that's why pulling them back and micro them properly will help you take as little damage as possible which reduces your chances of getting crushed in a 1v1 situation or whatever situation you may find yourself in in Warcraft 3. 
Now what we're going to do is we're going to take a whisk, put it onto the neutral tavern. You're going to try and aim to get to the neutral tavern with your army anyway. But it doesn't hurt to have the wisp ready just in case. Your demon hunter's got pretty much all he needs from there. So the tech is about halfway through. I could actually creep this spot, heal up and go there. Or I could go straight to the enemy, be aggressive, get the naga. It really is open at this point. You could even expand at this point if you wanted to. But if we're not going to do that, then what we're going to do is we're going to keep on creeping for the moment. And still aim to get those Ancient of Laws. Because there's still time. Pull the creeps back. Minimize the amount of damage you take. Mana burn as much as possible. Just basically keep as far back away from the melee creeps so they have to keep chasing you. But do enough damage to them so they keep coming back to try and chase you. And that should keep you in good stead. Now... Your Hunter's Hall is almost finished. Your tech is almost done. Keep on going with this. Ideally, I would have done this creep camp a little bit quicker. That way I could heal up and be at the middle base already as soon as my Naga Sea Witch is ready to be created when my tech is done. But I'm going to slack a little bit with this. But you get the idea. I've got a lot of resources, such as saying that they could have gone to an expand if you really wanted to. It depends how you want to play this. So we're going to get our health back. And ideally, at this point, I should have been at the middle. But I can always do that now. Anyway, you're going to build two Ancient of Laws. You're going to get your Naga Sea Witch. And that's all good to go. And then you're going to get at least two more Wisps. Now really, this is the point where the game is open to you now. I've set you up. And it's up to you where you want to go with this. Do you want to expand... Do you want to be defensive and carry on creeping the rest of the map? Do you want to be aggressive? Because that's the idea, is relatively at this point, which is the five minute point, in game time. If I did this exactly right, but I was obviously recording, so there's a slight few hiccups on my part. But um, at five minutes, you should be ready to attack with this amount of army. At three minutes, you would have already attacked using this build. Now, whilst these two are building, and you've got everything else going, you can either get the expand, like I say, or you can tech again so you're ready to keep upgrading your bears. And this is a point where you just put some pressure on the enemy or you can just back off. Obviously the computer on easy just nothing. Does absolutely nothing apart from basically just mash units. So it's not going to work against him. But in a normal situation against a normal player he might be more vulnerable. So an attack could be possible or you could expand or creep or do whatever you like as I said. The two Ancient of Laws are coming out. You're going to get one bear upgrade and the other one is going to build bears. And then you can build another moon well at this point. And after that comes out the bear that is. You can either move on to dryads, upgrade them or continue to build bears. Then when the tech is done you get the second level of bears and you have to use them at that point. Really. Because otherwise you're just wasting time. Whether it's on the enemy expansion or the enemy base. You're ready to attack once you've got your master bears. And there is the Night Elf build order, basically. Remember, what I'm doing... I'll just cover a couple of things whilst I'm looking at it. The idea of this is that your buildings are sort of slightly spread out, but defensive enough that they can help hold off any enemy attacks whilst hiding behind them with archers, and you've got moon wells ready in a line that they're easy to reach. The enemy cannot get into your base easily either, and all of your wisps, if you really wanted to, with this moon well set up, you can have them basically protected. If I built another wisp, say for example here, it allows wisps from here to come in and out as they please, but no enemy units or heroes can actually get inside there without having to kill the building. So all of these wisps on this line are completely and utterly protected apart from range units, which are going to have a hard time getting within range and not being attacked by Ancient of Laws nearby. So as I said, I'm not continuing to play at this point because it's open. It's open to you. There are opportunities to expand early if you want. Or expand after you've got, say, one Ancient of Law. Really, there is... You could go anywhere with this strategy. There's no problem with it whatsoever. As far as I can see, it's the most efficient build that I've done so far. So obviously it's not perfect. There could be possibly better strategies. I don't know. But as far as I'm concerned, this is pretty damn good. So... Feel free to follow this build if you want. And there you go, you've got your Claw, Master Bears. You can even get your third superhero if you really wanted to. Enough money saved up. I think we might get ourselves a Panda. So then you've got Triple Hero, plus a few Archers, Bears, maybe Dryads after that. Master Bears with obviously the rejuvenation on your heroes. With Triple Hero can be extremely effective. There's so many options to go from here. So this is the safest build as well. Generally, Night Elf are strongest with 
Bears, Dryads and Archers, I'd say. And Demon Hunter is your first hero. And the Naga Sea Witch is a very favor favorable second option. But you don't have to go Naga Sea Witch. Anything is open. You don't have to do exactly what I've done in this build. But it's just to help you out. So I think that's pretty much everything covered. You could also build Merc Creeps. But this is so map dependent. I can't really get into all these little things too much. Because there's so many different maps. You might be on one without Merc Camps. So it's pointless me building doing a build order, including mercs, when you couldn't even build them. So, as you can see, this covers everything that you can build on a standard map in a standard situation. And there's my computer easy getting ready to attack with his meat wagons. He's been saving those up, waiting for a sunny day to rain hell on me. So, I think I will finish this now. Everything is good. Yep. Just a reminder, with this build, you're basically going to tech at the three minute game time point but unfortunately you don't have a timer to know that but trust me that's what happens and then at the five minute point you should have basically crept a fair bit depending on the map again you get your health up and you're ready to go to the neutral tavern and maybe be aggressive or continue creeping at the five minute point so before that point and after that point you could have expanded you could have gone for talons or shims it doesn't matter. It really doesn't matter. It's all good. So I'm just going to stop this now. I'm going to end this right now. Quit mission. There you go. I beat the easy computer. And you can too if you use this strategy. So thank you very much for watching. This has been Witty. Please subscribe, like and comment.